Hi, let's talk. So I got some tips uh, a couple days ago. We practiced it at the range in the last video. It was about keeping the toe pointed up in the air a lot, a lot more than I was, that is. Uh, especially with the driver, I guess I was kind of, I, I guess I was coming over the top, as you would say. Um, very steep downward swing, and it was causing a lot of problems with slicing, pushing and slicing, of course. Uh, one and the same there for me. So I got that tip. The tip manifested in a way that I thought I understood it to be keep my hands lower, meaning instead of the club being like this, keep it like this. Uh, that wasn't what the tip was. It was just keeping the toe higher on the club. So the f easiest way I found out to do that was to do that. But I talked to my uncle, he explained some things. I actually kept looking into it and I started to understand the situation better. It's not about keeping the hands low in order to do this. It's about keeping the plane low, the swing plane on the way back as low as I possibly can. Almost around my body is my visual thought. It doesn't actually look that way when I swing that way, but that's what I'm thinking of. And uh, I, I watched a couple videos, a couple people explained the reason I was having trouble, well, more than one reason, obviously, but it's like the upper chest, I'm not able to kind of push it, like kind of bend it and push it through, get it into the slot, as they say. It's having like, I literally could not do that ever. Uh, so instead we're gonna be trying this. I've hit a fair amount of balls already, and I have to say it's going extremely well. All I've hit is seven iron so far. Took me a little bit of time to get the rhythm down. It's gonna be a more compact swing, it feels like. Uh, less, um, definitely less backswing, but I think that's a good thing. It's all about, for me, there's a few things that I need to do right here. One, keep the hands in a strong position. I need to keep the trail hand, the right hand, in a position where it's under the club the whole time. And one of the reasons that I was having problems with like the old approach was my, my shoulder was like pivoting upward and inward. And that's indication of coming over the top. Uh, so I didn't realize, again, didn't realize that until somebody told me. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so that this is gonna be an easy way to solve this. I'm gonna keep my right shoulder back a bit and then kind of, kind of like I'm throwing a disc or maybe like, you know, chopping something. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. That's gonna be step one. Another one is kind of keep the weight more neutral. I had been experiment, experimenting a lot with this in the past where I keep the weight to one side. My big problem was I used to have a really bad sway. Like I used to go like this and then forward. Uh, so we're not gonna do that at all anymore. We're gonna keep the weight neutral. It's harder for me uh, to do it this way, but as long as I keep the right shoulder down, I think it won't matter where the weight ends up. And then the other thing is just keeping the club low the whole way. So I'm um, trying to keep the shoulder like this and then kind of sweep through and up. And I'll tell you what, it's creating some extremely good ball flights. Like they're going up in the air pretty well. The thing is, they're going exactly where I want and reliably drawing. Now, you know, you might if you follow this whole series, I have a love affair. Like I'm, I'm secretly admiring the draw, right, for years. Uh, and it's finally, uh, we finally courted it. Let's put it that way. I think I've reliably found a way to not hit a fade. That's all I've ever wanted. I don't really care about the ball going right to left. Uh, even though people say like it's, you know, the superior ball flight in a neutral position because the ball will roll over more, get a few extra yards. That's never really been my concern. My concern is that my miss has always been right and consistently, it's always right. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of freaking being plagued by a fade into a slice. So this is gonna be hopefully a good solution for us. I've hit a bunch of balls. We're gonna hit a few more. I'll take a look at this, see if we can get some reliable ball flights. The problem is just bottling this. So the next time I come out, I don't have to spit, you know, spend $20 on balls to get to back, back to where I was. That's always been my biggest problem. A few days off, too many thoughts in the head, watch too many YouTube videos especially, and get too many different ideas going to the point where I have to kind of relearn everything. I wish I could literally golf every day. If there was a way to do that, I think this would make it easier. Even if I only hit like 10 balls a day, it would make the uh, muscle memory a lot quicker, develop, develop a lot quicker. So. Anyway, let's get to some hitting. We'll see what I think and uh, we'll try to hit some drivers too. So that was almost too much of a draw. Kind of lost that one left, which is, again, never would have said those words out loud before. So a little bit neutral weight, back in the heels, kind of a slight 
keep this shoulder down, a little bit of a tilt, not much though. Ball should be kind of in the middle or the back of my stance. Keep the club plate or like a strong grip. That's one thing we gotta make sure we do. There we go. All right, look at that. You won't be able to see it, but that is drawing. Like my old fade has now been replaced with the same strength draw. And that is absolutely amazing. The ball flight is insane. It's going so much higher. I never used to hit this seven iron. I never used to hit this thing high. So again, pressure even through the heels. Elbow tucked in a bit, pelvis tucked, kind of more athletic with the back, lower back. Oh my God, that is. I mean, that's literally the best iron I've ever hit. It's just crazy. Just a baby draw dead straight exactly where I want it turn up tum seeing it tumbling over in the air there oh, it's a good feeling man what a feeling it's crushed too that's at least 20 years longer than I was hitting it last last time I was here maybe not 20 I don't know. it's hard to tell there's like a mound out there so I can't actually see where it lands but yesterday or Monday whenever I was here it was like just clearing the mound. Now it's clearing it like I can't see where it lands. Let's put it that way. So that one is definitely right at my target, or at least what I expected to be the target. But I'm going to blame myself on that one. I think, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm still falling into this trap. I'm still falling into this trap where I'm, I'm opening or uh, I guess closing the stance. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. I'm dropping the right foot in order to facilitate this stance because I think that that was how I was solving problems before, but I don't need to solve problems like that anymore. Now I should keep the stance, even if anything, a little to the left and just make the swing. Fade back in it too. See that one exactly as he described. Hands were too low, jammed it in the ground, still went straight, still I drew a little bit, which I'm very satisfied with. Okay, that's terrible. I don't know what that was. dead straight so that's good there we go that's pretty low though but perfect dead center of the club
Very good. All right, I'm really feeling that. It's feeling really good. Uh, everything about it seems to be working really well for me. And just looking at the footage, it, it looks so different than it feels too. It feels like I'm doing something really dumb. But then I look at it and I'm like, oh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> but uh, I'm really pleased about the way it feels off the club face. I'm really pleased about the contact I'm making. And uh, I hope that everything is going to stay consistent because that's obviously uh, my issue is consistency. I can't wait to get out there on the course. Uh, this is going to be the last range video we make, at least for a while. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get out on the course soon. Should be actually getting nice out. Just kind of waiting for Summon Hills to open. Uh, I want to get out there and start throwing some cards down, you know. But I haven't putted or chipped <laughs> really at all. Uh, so yeah, you watched the footage from last year, you would know that scores aren't going to suddenly go crazy low, but it should be a lot more consistent. That's the thing. And I should be able to, uh, make a, it should, it's just going to be more fun. Honestly, it's just really fun right now. I'm having so much fun and finally, uh, feeling like I'm making some solid progress and it's only March 17th today, the recording date. So we got a lot of fun times ahead of us. Hopefully it's going to be a great year of golf and hopefully it's time to make some big progress. Thank you for watching.